Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, let's talk about one currency pair that has a really great setup. We have actually several that are starting to move pretty well in some good ranges that we've talked about. Hopefully everyone had a chance to see the webinar from earlier this week that covered about six or seven pairs. We're going to focus on the dollar CAD today. I just wanted to go over the news announcements real quick. We have Bernanke speaking in about 25 minutes actually. So that I don't know how much impact that's going to have on the market, but it could have a bit, so just keep an eye out on that and make sure that if you see this video before 12.30 p.m. Pacific time that you're waiting until the news is, is kind of come and gone before you're uh, trying to get into anything. Coming into tomorrow, we have quite a bit of news, ISM non-manufacturing and unemployment claims, services PMI for the, the pound and, and so on. So we have some of that coming up. Uh, let's have a look at this dollar CAD. You can see that the four hour chart here is starting to run up in this shorter term uptrend. It's, it's about two weeks long or two weeks old now. Uh, we've run down from this bigger move. The dollar CAD has been quite consolidated. It seems to get down to these lows and then just not want to head too much lower. At least that's been uh, the last couple of months. Uh, about that 10200 and as low as about 10150, give or take. Um, and it seems to be holding there pretty well. We had a nice bounce, nice reversal candle off of 10183. Uh, and it's been going up nicely from there. You can see at this four, excuse me, this daily chart, these two candles are very bullish. We're seeing some nice moves above those. And we're going to see if this continues on. Now we have to make sure that this doesn't turn out to be an inverted hammer right here. This is a nice uh, bullish hammer, but this could be an inverted hammer if this is the top of the run. But we've already started to push above that. We want to make sure that we don't get too much of a pin bar, which we could also be getting as well. So this is why we have two scenarios that I'm looking for. Scenario number one is a break above 103.55, which anytime we test good support like that weekly resistance or excuse me resistance uh, weekly resistance 200 moving average we made a high there's a perfect little double top there on the four hour chart you can see so we've touched that a little bit of a shooting star and we go back about three weeks and we have a high right there as well so if we get above that 103.55 area we should have a very nice easy run into this missed weekly pivot which is about 85 pips so there should be a nice little 85 pip run up from there. Uh, um, so that's obviously about 115 pips from current market price. We need to make sure that we break 103.55 before we get up there. Otherwise, we need to be looking for an opportunity to get short. So we're kind of in the middle of this channel. I think there's going to be a lot of support at the bottom of this channel wall. Obviously, that's what these, these lines are for, but we've got a weekly pivot down here. This 10300 area should be a pretty tough one, and it's obviously not too far away from current market price, only about 20 pips or so. Uh, so getting down there should be some pretty good support. I will not try to do any kind of sell opportunity on the dollar CAD until it breaks 102.70. So 102.70 is our level to trade down, which once again we have about 85 pips just trading it back into, excuse me, back into that low. If we break 102.70, if we break 103.55, again we have about 85 pips up into this weekly pivot point. So we have 85 pips either way to trade. We don't want to do anything in the middle. The middle is going to be messy and it's going to look like there's a lot of great things happening here and I just would stay away from anything between 103.55 and 102.70. So we've got just a nice little 90 pip channel that we don't want to do anything with. We want to wait for the break either side and target uh, 85 to, to potentially uh, over 100 pips on, on the profit side of things, uh, whichever way this thing ends up breaking. But let's watch those levels, let's watch that channel, look for that break and make some great pips. Best of luck everybody and make sure to keep an eye on Twitter, I'll have more updates coming out. And my Twitter is DayTradersFX. Thanks, everyone.